Welcome to Elite Automotive, home of high performance upgrades, custom builds, and all out performance on late model boots. Let's go meet the team. Paul is the owner operator of Elite Automotive and runs a tight ship, establishing the business in 1998. It's a passion that drives Paul to keep at the forefront of automotive excellence. Steve is assistant management at Elite. Between looking after customers' needs and organising the daily runnings of Elite, this man is usually a blur. Tim is the drill sergeant at Elite. His obsession with perfection is undeniable and rules the workshop with an iron fist, making sure nobody drags a chain. Don't let that smile fool you. They call him the boy from below. Keegan is Mr. Nice Guy. Toyota trained and ready for anything. Keegan always goes the extra mile with each build and never seems to lose that smile. Today, we're headed out of the workshop and hitting the track for HSV Club Drag Stay at Willowbank. Pop into Motorama Holder to get the car looking spick and span, meet up with first time drag racer Adam and make our way to the action out west. Keegan runs us through the process of upgrading cams in a V8. But first, let's get the car clean. Here's a montage of car cleaning. We hope will inspire a spate of car cleaning across the state. That is, spate across the state. Waiting for a moment. So that's the first process through the bomb bay here. As you saw, everything's sort of done basically by the machine, comes through. Now they're going to take it over to the other bay and they're going to do it, finish it off by hand. So it gets finished off, made sure that it's clean, polished, whatever they're going to do, over there by hand so they make sure it's finished off perfectly. While the lads finish off the final polish, Paul takes the opportunity to grab a coffee and relax inside the showroom. What I really like about this facility is when we come in and get our car washed over here, we can come in, make ourselves a cup of coffee, sit down, read a magazine, look at the new model HSVs or Holdens, but I like just chilling out over here, sit on a lounge, read a magazine, get on Facebook on my phone, which I'm addicted to, my kids tell me, and just chill out, have a cup of coffee, grab a bit of fruit if I like. Once he's checked in, Paul catches Motorama dealer principal, Carl Martin. Paul, we've been here just over 12 months, um, built from the ground up. Eco-friendly facility, nice, light, airy. You, the, you bought your car from us, didn't you, Paul? I, I did, from the old facility, but this one's much, much nicer. Much nicer. So we've just walked through the, motor, uh, the HSV section of the um, dealership. We can see uh, a few models here. Tell us, uh, have we got any, um, anything to look forward to, or is there anything happen, exciting happening with the HSVs? Yeah, it's called Gen F. Gen F. Gen F is the official title for the new HSV. So we're currently running out the E series of the HSV. All good, uh, ready to buy bargains right now because they're the last to go. Yep. I've actually seen the new car. Can't tell you anything about it, otherwise I'd have to shoot you. Damn it. That Malou looks good. We've gone all with the 20 inch wheels now. Huh? Yep, they look good those wheels. That, oh, colour, oh. that colour is you. Black, I'm not into black. I don't like yeah. it. Too hard to keep clean, but then again I could always bring my car back here and That's they can right. clean more it. more car washes. I've yeah, thrown in years free car washes. You, you throw it in? <laughs> the guys at Motorama, they do a fantastic job. Paul's yeah. car is finished and looking a million bucks. We leave the guys at Motorama Holden for now and hit the road to meet up with today's first time drags driver, Adam, and his elite built beast. A 2011 Club Sport. Here we are with Adam. 
Adam's uh, customer of ours, our Delete, and we've just done his car up. We put a cam and a full exhaust package, Street Fighter package, in the car, and uh, it's the HSV drag day today. Hopefully, the weather holds out. And uh, tell us a bit about your car, Adam. Uh, it's a 2011 E3 Club Sport. Uh, it's had a uh, cam done, as Paul said, um, KPM exhaust, two and a half inch. Uh, it's got a VCM OTR. Um, put out 320 rear wheel kilowatts, uh, about 400 and something horsepower. Four, I, 427, I think, yeah, if I'm from um, memory or some, something around and it that. Just, yeah, it just drives really well. Um, it's quiet when it needs to be and um, goes really well, so really happy. Yeah, so that was one of one of Adam's uh, requests. He goes, I don't want it to drone. I don't want that car to drone. When I'm, and it being an auto as well, the worst thing about autos is they, they sit, sit around the 1700 RPM mark while cruising, and that's where they tend to drone. So I said, well, this package here is guaranteed not to drone. Well, I know it works. I've got the same cam in my car, the same exhaust in my car. I know it won't drone, and I know it'll perform. Meanwhile, back in the workshop, Keegan is working on a very similar cam upgrade. We're replacing our camshafts in, in car in this um, GT, double overhead cam. Um, as you can see, we've got the rocker covers off. I'm um, just about to start pulling the front cover off. We've dropped the um, harmonic balancer down the bottom there. And um, once this plate's off, you'll be able to have a look at the chains. We'll mark them and um, get ready for the removal. <laughs> Customers getting this work done would be just after um, power upgrade like um, quickest way to induce performance into a car probably and uh, naturally aspirated anyway um, and you can see definitely big gains the um, camshafts are designed so the lobes are um, what do you call it opening valves at different times allowing the engine to breathe better in some port um, some parts um, also hold the valves open for longer and um, what do you call it yeah increasing performance stuff. <laughs> We'll leave you there, Keegs, to gather your thoughts, and we'll catch up with you later on in the show. Enough chat, it's time to hit the road. More wide open throttle after the break.